Hey everyone, my name is Riley and this video is a complete beginner's guide to the GoDaddy website builder. The GoDaddy website builder is an AI website builder that allows you to create a website in just a few minutes. In this video, I'm going to show you everything that you need to know from getting started with the GoDaddy website builder, how to generate your free website in just a few minutes and how you can customize your website to make it look exactly how you want it to look. The first thing that you want to do is head over to this link geforcenorth.com slash recommend slash godaddy or you can just click on the top link down in the description. Once we go to that website it's going to take us over to godaddy and this is where we can create our website. So all we have to do is click on start for free and in here we can now create our godaddy account. So you can either do this with Facebook, with Google or with your email address. So I'm going to do this with Google and then once you have created your account it's then going to ask what are some features your website needs. In this video, I'm going to be building a website that allows people to book appointments online as my website is going to be a company for dog training. However, you can also sell online if you have a product to sell or alternatively, if you have no idea what you want to do yet, well, you can just click on something else as you can add these at any time. Once that is selected, let's click on continue and we can now choose a category for the website. So you could type something in here, for example, if you're setting up a gym, you can type in gym. We have gym, boxing gym, Muay Thai gym, gymnastics. I'm going to type in dog and then we can see dog trainer right here. So select the category that your website is going to be in and then we can click on continue. Then we can choose a name for the website. So I'm going to call this GeForce Dogs. Then we can click on continue. And GoDaddy is then going to ask us to tell them a little bit about the business. This is only a sentence or two. As you can see, we only have 500 characters to use. So I'm going to type out a short description for my dog training business. So we can type that in right there and then click on continue. And with that information, GoDaddy is now going to go ahead and build out this entire website for us. So the website is now created and it's just going to ask what sections would we like to have on the website. So we have about, a photo gallery, online appointments, reviews, contact, social links, subscribe. So this is like an email list, introduction, and then menu and price list. So I'm pretty happy with all of these that they have already selected, but we can customize this. We can add any section that we want to at a later date. So don't get hung up on this. Don't worry about this. We can just click on continue. So this right here is the dog website that it has created for me. It says train your furry best friend. We have a title, schedule a session button. We have an about us section. We then have a gallery. We have online appointments so we can go ahead and add the services that we offer. We have feedback and testimonials, a contact us form, social links, and then the mailing list. So as you can see, some areas of this definitely need us to edit and we definitely need to go in and customize this. But before we do that, before we make any changes, what you can do is go over to theme on this right hand side and we can click on try a new look. And this is going to give you a few different options to completely redesign the website. So I'm just going to scroll through and see if there are any I like. I actually really like this one right here. So I'm going to click on select. And this is going to change the entire website to fit the new look. Perfect. In the theme section, we can also go ahead and change the colors on the website. So this is the default color palette that we have. We can choose between any of these. Or alternatively, we can set our own color using this custom color button. So I actually want my website to be kind of like this blue color. Maybe a little bit lighter. Perfect. I'm going to set it to this blue. We can then go down and where it says paint your site, we can slide between light, which it is right now. We can go to colorful right here. You can see the website is a lot more colorful. Or we can go dark, which is going to make the website a lot darker. I quite like this light theme, so let's go back to that. We can then choose the font that we use on the website. So we have the primary font right here. You can go down and you can change to any of these. I actually quite like that. We can also add a secondary font if you want to, but I'm just going to stick with the primary. So let's bring fonts back up. And then the final thing that we can do in this theme area is we can add and customize these buttons. So if I just find a button right here, we can see these are the buttons, but we can change like the button style, how it looks, the color of this, everything like that. So I quite like these rounded buttons. I'm going to leave this as it is, then click on done. And now we have everything set up in the theme area. Let's now go back over to website 
And in here, this is where we can start customizing the website. Let's start out at the very top and go ahead and edit this logo. So you can either leave this if you like this, or we can click in and we could change the text if we wanted to. So I could change this text to whatever I want. As you can see, that's now going to change. But I think the best way to go about this is we can also go to upload a logo and we can create our own logo right here. So if we click on create, this is going to take us into the GoDaddy logo maker and it's going to create a logo for us. So we can describe the business in a few words. I'm just going to say a professional dog trainer like that. Then we can go continue. Choose three words that best describe the personality of your business. So we can go friendly for sure, maybe a little bit athletic and youthful, and then we can go generate. And it's now going to generate us in a bunch of logos that we can use rather than just having that boring text logo. So these are the logos that it's going to generate on this left hand side. So we can go down and choose one of these. And I really like the look of this one. This one is awesome. The only thing that I do want to change is the color and make it fit the rest of the website. So once again, I'm going to go for kind of like a lighter blue color, just like that. And then do the same for this up here. We can click, go to the color, and then make this like the same blue color. Perfect. Once that is set up, we can then click on continue. And this is now going to add that logo into our website. So we have the logo there. We just come down here and click on insert. And just like that, we now have the logo added in. And once that is done, all we are going to do is click into this next section. So this is the next section that I'm going to change right here. We can see this between these two green lines. And then over on the right hand side, this is where we can make all of the changes to the website. So the first option is the cover media, the main background image. And if we want to change this, we just click in. So we can click on change image, then add images right here. And then we can choose the image that we would like to upload. As you can see, my file is now uploading. And once that is uploaded, we can click on insert. And this is now going to change this background image. So we can also choose between whether this fills the entire section or whether we have it like this. I really prefer this entire section. And then we can click on done to go back to this area. We can then change the accent or the color that this is going to be. So I'm just going to leave it as it is with this white. We can then choose the alignment of the text. So I'm going to leave it on this right hand side. And then for these sections, just ignore these because if I click on logo, it's going to take me back to the logo. I don't really know why it's set out like this, but all we are now going to do is go to this headline right here. And it says train your furry best friend. So we could change this, but I actually quite like what this says right now. So I'm going to leave it. We can also go to the action button right here. That's this button. And we can change this to say whatever we want it to say. So once again, I quite like schedule a session or let's actually say book now. And then for where this links to, when somebody clicks on this button, we want to link this to this section to book an appointment. So what we are going to do is go to section on page and set this to online appointments right here. And then we can click on done. So that top section is now complete. Then we can go down to this next section right here. So in here, once again, on this right hand side, we can choose the layout. So we can click in and choose how this is going to be laid out and what looks the best. So as this is an about us section, I really like this. This looks awesome. We can then click on done. If we want to change the text, we can click into the text and then make all of the changes that we need to on this right hand side. So instead of professional dog training in London, I'm going to say the best dog training in London. And then for the description right here, we could go ahead and edit this, but I'm just going to leave this as it is. Once again, we can change the image by just clicking into image, change image, and then we can add a different image right here. I like this one. We can then go down to the next section. This says furry friends, favorite moments, a dog trainer's journey in snaps. So I'm actually going to change this and say our part from friends. And then down here, this is a gallery. So in the gallery, we can click into each individual image and then we could go ahead and change this. So we have this image, we could click on change and upload this image right here, insert. We could then go to the next image, click on this, change image and insert a new image right here. And you get the idea. We just click change image and then we can add a new image. In this next section, this is where we can add online appointments. So in here, we want to click on add services and we can now add these services that we offer. 
So for the service name, I'm going to say this is a puppy class. The duration is going to be one hour. This is already set. And for this, I'm going to charge $100. We can then choose where we want to accept payments. So whether we want to require full payment, require a deposit or require this all offline. Now, as this is a dog trainer, I'm going to set this to offline and then we can add a description right here. So in here, I just said the basics that your pup needs, including obedience, recall, sit and stay. And then we can click on save. Just like that, this is now going to be added in. So if we want to add any more classes, then we can just click back into this, add the service, and then once again, we can create a new service. So I'm going to say dog class, $150. So we can add that in right there. And we now have these appointments set up. Going down, if we want to delete any sections, then all we have to do is go to the section we want to delete, click on these three dots, and then we can delete this section. If you want to move any sections, for example, if I want online appointments above this gallery, then all I have to do is go to the appointments, click on to move this section up, and as you can see, that's going to be flipped on top. So we can send them either up or down, depending on where you want them to be. Let's also go down to this social section so we can click in and then you can just link your Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, any social media that you want to add here. You would just enter in the URL and then people would be able to access that social media. For example, if I just grab my YouTube link right here and add this in, the rest of those social icons are going to disappear. It's just going to show YouTube as this is the only one I have added. From here, we can then click on done. And that is how you can edit the entire website. What you can also do is you can add in new sections. So we can see in between each section, we have this button that says add section. So we can add a new section. You can choose from here what section you want to add. So you can look through, see if there's anything you want to add. One that I do like is a quote. So we could add a quote right here. We could add this in right there. Once you have found the section, just click on add. And then that is now going to be added in. So we could go in, we could change the text. As you can see, this is already about dogs. GoDaddy is pretty smart. And then once again, we can drag this to wherever on the website we want to drag this and add this under certain sections. Once your website is complete, we can then click on publish in this top left corner. And as you can see, this website is now publishing. So this is the website right here. And this is the link that we have. So right now, it's not the most professional, but it's okay. GeForceNotTheDogs.GoDaddySites.com But what you can do if you do want a more professional domain is we can click on choose a domain right here and you can choose the domain that you want to get. Now, this is very misleading. You're not actually going to get this free for the first year. Technically, you are, but only if you purchase like a three, four year plan. They're not just going to give you a domain for free. Pretty misleading, but hey ho. So what we can do is I could go for like GeForce Dogs. Let's see if this is available. So we can see right here, GeForceDogs.com. Once you have found the domain, we can add this to the basket. We can then go through and choose if we want to add domain protection. So I would recommend full domain protection. Ultimate is a bit overkill. We could add that right there. And then we can just go down, enter in your payment information and select that plan. Once again, though, that is not really necessary. You absolutely can just have this domain right here, especially if you are new and you are just starting out. This is still absolutely fine. So that is my GoDaddy website builder tutorial. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.